Did I scare you? Probably not. It's Call of Duty Ghosts! I'm the Cognitive Gamer. This is Post Grad Games, and today we're playing the multiplayer of Call of Duty Ghosts. Screw you, I'm not playing squads. Nope, don't need it. Waiting for it to learn. It's pretty basic. Nothing. A little more streamlined than uh, Blops 2. So, from here in this one, I actually went to this menu before just so I can download the map. Look at the barracks here. So you can create your clan, you have a Call of Duty account, leaderboards, whatever. Operations are kind of like missions for the day or two weeks apparently. Alright, so you have some missions. Create a soldier, which you can customize a bunch of things. I already customized this fool. Uh, and he looks like he's from PS2 era. God, these graphics are terrible. Oh my god. Just the number of options is crazy. I don't even know. Oh my god. Oh, they return with the uh, three modes here. So you have support, assault, and specialist. I personally like support because I kind of suck at the game. This one gets you perks. I don't care about that one. There's also assault. Five points. We'll try assault first. Let's find a game. Ghosts Mosh Pit. Yeah. So I didn't pre-order it, but I still got the map. Just good luck on me, I suppose, huh? Team Tactical, free for all, hunted. That sounds pretty cool. That's a new one. That's a Blitz is also new. Each team has an objective zone at their base. Enter the enemy zone. So it's kind of like you just run at their base and try to get in. Cranked. It just kills your abilities. That's really cool. We'll just start with the straight up deathmatch though and try it. Look at that. That looks fucking standard. Different. Man, the character models look like they're straight out of the PS2 era. They're just terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Luckily, you can't really see them unless you're shooting at them, so that's good. But holy moly, what era this is. I mean, the last generation was ten years ago. You'd think the character models would at least not look like triangles, Final Fantasy style. It's a little bit exaggerated, but at the same time, oh my god. I really doubt it makes a difference, but... Jeez. Dean Deathmatch. Time to work, soldiers. They look way better in motion. Uh, that's all I'll say. They look much better in motion than stationary on that screen. That looks awful. Maybe they'll patch that in like everything else. Their character models will look better. Boom. First kill of the game. That felt... That felt really nice. Ah, oh. I've always kind of enjoyed, whoa, kind of enjoyed Infinity Ward's um, Call of Duty's better. Oh, that's, ah, uh, that's newer. You can actually, like, slide now, so you can sprint, slide into cover. Slide into cover. Slide into cover. So I got a point for that. Everything seems... Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's quiet. Too quiet. Like, it just carries a little more weight to it. Kind of slows down the action. But I like that. I like that it slows down the action. Ah! Oh. What the? F what is this? Enemy satcom spotted. Friendly satcom active. What the hell's that? What does this do? I 
don't know what this does. Alright, whatever. Probably like a radar, I assume. But... Enemy SATCOM spotted. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh! Fantastic. Man, what does this game add out? <laughs> Less than 24 hours and I'm already getting sniped. I'm gonna kill this. Ah, shit. I think our team's losing. Very badly. There's a dog with him. Enemy SATCOM spotted. This feels different. Like, I like it a lot. I really like this map a lot more. There's a lot less open. So you actually kind of have to aim. Oh. A lot more open. It, it kind of enforces like taking it slow, or you want to like look around corners. Hostile forces have a maniac. Fuck's a maniac. Ah! Ugh, sniped. Jesus Christ. I still don't know what's up with this map. The map seems a little bit... In a, like it's... In a location that's not very easy to read. Which, I don't know if that's the point. Hostile forces have Juggernaut Maniac. F*** is that? God damn it. What are these? Okay, well, we lost really, really, really bad. So my first analysis, my first reaction, holy shit, I was number one on that team. My first reaction is surprise, apparently. Um, my second reaction is, it feels a lot like Modern Warfare 3, a little faster paced, but at the same time, it's faster in movement speed, but it's slower in how you actually want to. And what I mean by that, there's a lot of obstacles so far, at least in that map, which was white out. A lot of um, things in the map for you to hide behind and um, kind of use to your advantage, which is, which is much different than, um, let's say, Black Ops 2, which was a lot of open spaces, which made you actually utilize the little cover there was so say for instance you want smgs are really really good in black ops 2 because you can do close range and mid range and there wasn't a lot of long range uh, snipers were mostly used to no scope it seems like this one maps are slightly bigger so sniping actually means something i mean from my one game experience they were far away they hit me they're not something in a very irritating manner, which means they can actually hit me, and they're not so exposed. But at the same time, that means maybe less no-scoping, because there's not a need for it. Fuck no-scoping. So far, good impressions. I had a lot of fun. I like the quick pace, unexpected nature. It is to even die. Um, reminds me a lot of Modern Warfare 3. A little faster in movement. And the weapons feel so right. That's the biggest part. It's, like, shooting feels good. It always felt in Black Ops 2, it felt a little more arcade. Which is good. It, it suited what they wanted to do with it. This map is weird. The map doesn't really help you much. Prison was pretty fragile. I hit him only a few times. Satcom uplink enabled. Oh my god. He got me. He got me good. Oh, 
I will gladly take my 20 points. Let me try a different weapon. Let's try the Bazan. So I, I, I started with an assault class, which which one would assume that it So far they're okay. They're not my favorite. They never really were. I didn't... I probably should have paid attention. Like I said, if you're new to this, I imagine much confusion. Oh, Jesus, that reload speed was atrocious. Again, like I said, more tactical, more, want, like, less lone, really fragile. That map is terrible, and maybe that's the point. I also notice there's, like, no UAVs, or at least not as many, so it's less... You have to be more on your toes. That's cool. That's a new feature. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Not sure what a SATCOM does. Oh, that gun's terrible. Alright, let's try it in this one. How? how? How are people already this good? <laughs> I guess it is Call of Duty. I like how they put the score up. Which I'm doing off. Call of Duty. It's different though. It has a different feel to it. One kill with melee. What the hell? There's missions now? That's that's pretty legit. I really like that. Sadcom ready. Boom. Double kill. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Hostile forces have a maniac. There's orders now that are in the field that are given. I really like that a lot. And then you have to do it while you hold it. Really? You're gonna teabag my teammate? What a jerk. <laughs> Enemy care package incoming. We're failing, squad! Well, that's too bad. I really like this. The maps are much bigger. A little, they're almost a little too comp. I, I don't know if I if I like that as much. I'm sure, within time I'll get it, but it reminds me kind of a battlefield. Dare I say it? Just, um, the fact is Battlefield has a lot of more levels. Complex in the level design. Kind of what I feel here. It's, it's like... What the... What the shit? I, I mean, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. And I still suck. I'm still really terrible. Enemy SATCOM spotted. What the f*** was that? What? What, he throw C4 at me already? How do they already have that unlocked? And plus some strike zone... Team deathmatch. 30 seconds. 50, okay. Time to work, soldiers. Like ass. Look at that. Oh, that looks terrible. Jesus. Grenades seem to take longer to explode, but more powerful. 
this map also seems smaller. Friendly satcom active. Maybe a satcom picks up those five sounds. Hit him with a grenade, Jesus. Hey! I'm spotted. Whoa! Sorry, they got intense for a second. <laughs> Still don't know what a satcom is. So this is a satcom. God damn it. Wait, is that telling me to essentially teabag them? Did this game just tell me to teabag somebody? I don't know how I feel about that. Probably picking up other people's guns. Enemy satcom spotted. Enabled. Still don't know what that means. I really have a hankering for eggs. <laughs> I don't know why you need to know that. But I'm really hungry. We're winning this fight. First place kill. I don't know what that means. Damn, I don't know what this means. Enemies I've played so much Call of Duty and I don't know what any. Maybe I should play squads first. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have ignored that. Gotcha. Yes. That com ready. That com up link enabled. Still don't know what that is. I just know I get a lot of them. <laughs> I I still think it's like a radar. Like a, your satcom. Short range radar of some sort. Yeah, one. So I'll end tonight on a victory. I'm hungry. Um, but that's a lot of that's Call of Duty Ghosts. Just a short little preview of it. Of what's to come. I'll probably give a review or of at least the multiplayer um, soon. So awesome. I'm the Cognitive Gamer. Follow me at Twitter at Cognitive Gamer. Uh, check out my other videos. They're a lot of fun. They're a hoot and nanny. Hoot and nanny. So, yeah. Catch you on the flip side, bro.